This trail is called the Nordski Trail. In the winter time, it is a cross-country skiing course that loops around, I think in a figure eight. We're gonna see, but uh, first time doing this, the parking lots at all the other trailheads were packed. I have never seen this many people up at Santa Fe at eight o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. So, we're up at about 9,800 feet. And it is gorgeous today. It's been over 100 every day down in the city. So we're looking forward to a cool hike. Ron's tracking us on all trails. Is it working? Yeah, it says we're at over 10,000 feet. Oh, well, we are at 10,000 feet. Okay. 10,300. Huh. Okay. That's why I changed. Let's head on back out. Beautiful shady trail so far. We are at junction number B this time. Yeah. All right. Well, letter B. Thank you, grammar police. So we can go, go that way or that way. Okay, so we're at this junction now. I think we'll go on farther this way. Going ahead. So far, this has been really easy, as Ron stumbles. <laughs> wow. We usually do our hiking on the weekends down off Albuquerque um, east side in the Sandia Mountains, but sometimes we like to come up to Santa Fe, and every time we do, I am just amazed at all the aspens and spruce and uh, just gorgeous trails. Um, the trails are much better maintained up here, too. Um, I guess because they're so heavily used by hikers and backpackers. Um, it's just a beautiful area and there's so many trails to explore. So nice to get out today.
cool trail. I like the terrain, I like the shade, and I like how well marked it is. We're having no trouble tracking which way to go. Super fun. This would be a great trail for training or if you have small children. Definitely would recommend this with children to get them used to hiking and still beautiful scenery. Awesome. So there's a little cut through if you want one or you keep going. Looks like the trail will be heading uphill up ahead. We came down a little bit of elevation but not too bad. So now I think we're headed up. See, this plant right here is that when it opens. Now there's bunches of them and they're all turned facing the sun. Look at that group right there. So cool. So many flowers. There are asters. I think these are called harbells. Check out the view. Okay, and somebody has a sense of humor. The intestine loop. I'm guessing that's a bunch of squiggles. We're almost back to the parking lot. It was a really nice hike. Definitely recommend this one, especially if you have people who aren't interested in doing really long hikes or really strenuous hikes. This one was pretty easy and had shade and scenery, lots of flowers. So, really enjoyed it. So we have stopped at Aspen Vista Picnic Grounds to use the pit toilet and to have lunch. So let's see if we can find the picnic tables. I know they're here somewhere. Several picnic tables over here. This is nice. You can see the road right down there with all the cars and the bathroom. So we're right behind the bathroom and we found a picnic table in the shade. So I think Ron's going to run get our lunch we packed and we're going to have a picnic. You stay here with Mama. 
That wasn't that far. We got a perfect picnic spot. Awesome. I'll get you some water. Set this down here first. Set it over here. There you go. Ready for lunch? It's ready. Altitude. <laughs> we got chips and roll up sandwiches. Yum. It was so nice to get out of the sweltering heat we've been having lately and hike up at 10,000 feet. Um, and so if you enjoyed this video and found the information useful, please give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Um, we have lots of adventures going on this summer, lots of camping, hiking, and backpacking. And if you hit that notification bell, you won't miss a single adventure. So, as I always say, get out there and hug a tree. And thanks for watching.